Well, hello everyone and welcome to Presence's Dark Awakening, which I think wins strangest title for uh, the games that I'm playing for Steam Next Fest. Um, this is a horror game, and if you notice, there is a little bit of a warning. Basically, the important part is that there's going to be some flashing lights and stuff, so keep that in mind before you watch it, because I don't want anybody to get eye damage or seizures or anything like that, so please know that before going in. The following experience is best experience in one sitting, so I will only do this in one sitting. Cozy Marshmallow presents. Oh, this reminds me of a wonderful recipe. If you like marshmallows and peanut butter and crackers, you, you have to find the cheapest marshmallows, the cheapest peanut butter, and the cheapest crackers. You basically, you take uh, saltine crackers specifically, you take them you layer them with peanut butter, then you put a marshmallow on top, then you cook in the oven for, I don't know, 325 degrees for probably about 10 minutes maybe until like the marshmallows start to kind of brown. Take it out, eat it. It's like a s'more, but not with chocolate because I'm not a big chocolate fan, but they're, they're fantastic. They're very good. But now, let's get to the scary game. Use the mouse to look around. I am doing so. Look at that. It's very pretty. Very nice looking. Uh, you can use shift to run, figuring things out. A little creepy door. That's cool. It's like I'm on a ship or something. Like, um, yeah, maybe not. There's a. Uh, this looks peculiar. Seems like a place that you would not go on a first date. Although, if I took my girlfriend here, I bet she'd be all about it because she just likes to be places I'm at because she's awesome. All right, to inspect, click the left mouse button while hovering the cursor over an object. Oh, I didn't inspect any of this movement. So, there's a picture of triangles. Oh, look at that, we got a triangle. So it looks like I need like triangles up on every corner and this big statue thing is also a triangle. And that door's locked, so I guess uh, we're gonna have to settle for one triangle, maybe two. A cursor will appear on screen showing what is interactable. Uh, don't need a skeleton hand. Thank you very much. Yeah, I've already figured this out, that I need to have four of these guys up. I have one, two up. This will be my third. Or this is the way I came in. And, um... I don't see one, so... Oh, is this going to be one of those things where you like have to do this the right time, right amount of times because it's going to... Nope. I thought it was going to be one of those situations where you... You click on it and it's going to like cause like a bunch of different scenarios where if I click once it'll bring up one of these guys. What did I do? Uh... Oh, look at that! I pushed a button and one came up. The sound is very misleading. Alright, I guess I'll click this one. And this will bring up the last one, maybe? Yeah! Oh man! You can tell I had breakfast and it's finally kicking in. Yeah, looks like we're at like a Tesla location. Not like bad Tesla, but Nikolai Tesla. You know, the good one before he went crazy because of the pigeons or whatnot. It's a shame what happened to Nikola Tesla. He was a really intelligent guy. 
Oh. Nice little bubble. It's like the movie Sphere. Um, except for, obviously, not like that at all. get out of here, but I'm assuming it's its door. Oh, the door's locked. I can't go through this way. Alright. What way? Are you guys going to go to the door that was locked? Alright, I am following you, ghosty ghosts. It's a really cool environment. Goodness, this place is really falling apart, like they're saying. Uh, so running in this game is not really what I would consider running. I'm just kind of walking a little bit faster. Yeah, if I see a lever, I'm going to touch it. I'm going to push the button. And we'll see if it's a good idea or a bad idea. We'll worry about the repercussions after. That's what they say. Touch first. Then ask questions uh, when it comes to levers, doors, and things like that, because you never know. So, I I like these little creepy wisp ghost voice things but it's really hard to take them seriously I, I, I don't I can't like that one's that one's like normal but the other one it just it sounds like they're trying really hard and it's really it makes me laugh on the inside I'm actually really happy about that I really enjoy the fact that a game can bring a little bit of humor to my day even though I, I know that it's supposed to be a scary game it's not really doing it though but the atmosphere I will say is really nice the graphics are good uh, the sound design is really nice I mean I'm definitely enjoying my experience so far um, which is good because that's what you want to hear you want to hear that somebody's having a good time when they're playing something Game demo. That means game demo in English. It's a bad joke, I know. I know, I know, I know. But I can't help it. It's like 9 o'clock in the morning. I've been up since like 4, you know, playing things and doing these demos. Oh, yeah, there's so many that I'm trying to play. And I don't know, today just happened to be horror day, I guess. I don't really have a lot of titles that are horror games. Um, so, Presence's Dark Awakening was one that caught my eye because of the trailer, uh, because it looked really confusing. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, I've been having this recurring dream. The dream began after I started spending more time researching these buried secrets. In the dream, I find myself looking at a giant pyramidal structure surrounded by an otherworldly landscape. I'm still not sure why I'm having these visions or hallucinations. It must have something to do with my discoveries underground. This both excites and terrifies me. Maybe it is the stress of moving and unpacking. I'll know more in time. What I really need to do is find a place to organize and store all of my personal letters. Jasper. Oh, cool. Can I do laundry? Move the washer and dryer into the basement as soon as possible. This place is too far away from everything. Furthermore, the water connection isn't functioning properly and my cloths never seem to get clean. Oh, the dryer's open now? Welcome home. Aww. That makes me feel nice and warm inside. The 
So the game is really trying to kind of get you with some creepiness here. I will say that the creepiness is really done well. I like that the things are happening kind of like just out of sight. Doors close randomly while others open. Abstract light appears in the corners of my eyes. And these visions come as quickly as they go. In my dreams, I see these presences more clearly. They must be attempting to communicate with me. If I had to guess, these are manifestations of trapped energy unable to find their way. They must think I can help and are attempting to communicate with me. I hope they are friendly. Well, I hope they are too, because I would love to make some friends. With all due respect, after detailed and involved inspection of the house, water, and heating system, I can find no plausible explanation for the wild temperature fluctuations described. As far as the strange noises, I also hear them from time to time. Probably just mice or rats. I recommend calling an exterminator. None of the noises would be coming from the heating or watering water systems installed. There's nothing more I could do for do here. I know this isn't the entry you're looking for. Best luck with your home water and heating repair. Hmm, that doesn't seem like a legit note. So I don't know that I trust him. Is this different? Is this how it was? I don't remember. I feel like this is different than it was when I was in here. I'm losing my mind. This reclaimed wood, while needing some extra sanding and exterior coating, is worth the extra effort. I love that it came from nature and instead of being disposed of can be used again on a structure that will last for decades. Reminds me of l architecture used to be l b ago. Remember to b additional structure future projects. I don't get it. What? Is it the chair? Oh, look at that. The chair is moving. It's so cute. Trying to scare me, ghosts. Not going to happen. Oh, silly ghosts. Press, click the P key to pause the game. All right, but why? Why am I? Why would I pause it? Why am I pausing it? I don't want to pause it. You said one sitting. That means I can't get up. Oh, that's pretty cool. While watching television, my show was suddenly interrupted. Static filled the screen, and odd imagery, architectural in nature, appeared for a brief moment. Painting what I saw to find clarity. It looks like looks to be a column, an arch, very similar to the architecture I have encountered underground. Could this be a place I have yet to explore? All right, Q. Oh, sorry, Mr. Ghost or Ms. Ghost or Mr. Mrs. Whatever person. All right, Ghost. I will. Oh, that's rude. How's it? Oh, we got energy waves. Oh, the TV's on. Release us. Okay. I will release you static monsters. Alright, yeah. so the pyramid. Alright, whatever. The pyramid is the thing that I'm supposed to do, which I already did the pyramid, so I released the little ghost things. Uh, but I can't go in that door. Doors are always locked everywhere. That's how you know you're American. Everything's locked. You can't, like, get into anything. You can't do anything. Every option is there to stop you from progressing. Because of the rich people. Release us. Is that what this is about? Yeah. Can I turn off the TV? Oh, it looks like I have to be at the right distance and stuff will show up. Nope, I was wrong. You have to watch the whole thing. Uh, okay. Oh, door still locked? Door still locked. But this door is locked as well. Jeez, come on. Oh, okay. Hello, ghost. What's up, my little buddies? What are we doing? Okay. You're flying around. Am I following you, or are you just making a mess? You went through... The well, I can't go through the wall. Silly, silly ghost. Oh, there we go. Oh, they opened the door. Ah, 
I am so confused as to what's going on. I'm also not getting scared yet. I mean, I want to. But it's not happening. I'm totally digging the game, though. I mean, it's... It's very nice. It's a real nice atmosphere. The things they do to try to creep you out are really well done. The excavating continues to go well, and it reminds me of my time in Egypt. This is the most exciting discovery of my career. The architecture is difficult to date, but I should have a theory in time. I've created a secret entrance for entering the excavated space and have decided to keep my discovery out of public view until I know what we're about, uh, more about what I have uncovered. All right, so you obviously, whoever that was, found something. And I'm going to assume they found, like, that triangle thing. Uh, all right, ghost person, help me by opening a door for me. Yeah, look at that, they're just, they're like the most helpful little wisps ever. Oh, that's so cute, look at the door, it opened, and I got stuck. Oh, this place is a mess. Oh, it's a lever, we know what I do with levers. Push the button. Oh, it's going down? I guess I should have expected it, I was kind of hoping it was going to go up. And Presences, Dark Awakening, that is the demo, and it's uh, kind of short, but um, very atmospheric, quite enjoyable. If you're looking for a horror game to play during Steam Next Fest, this is probably one that I would uh, recommend. Uh, it's uh, it's quite good, quite entertaining, really nice environment. Um, definitely looking forward to seeing more from this. So Presences, Dark Awakening, give it a shot.